Remember last week, I couldn't buy the stock Pinoles because it was listed on the Mexican Stock Exchange and my broker didn't have access to that exchange? I still wanted to know it a little bit further, a little bit more exact, and I actually emailed my broker. And he responded saying, you can actually buy that stock with us through the pink sheet. And I was like, what's the pink sheet? I researched that a little bit in more detail. The pink sheet is actually another term for trading stocks over the counter. That means people trade directly with each other without a stock exchange. That means, of course, there's less safety because there's no stock exchange regulating the entire process. However, these stocks still have to file with the Security and Exchange Commission in the States, the SEC, but the requirements are a lot lighter. For that reason, many companies use this as a testing, as testing the water, if they, if they want or if they plan to later go public. Is this now a problem that they have less security because it's over the counter? Well, it's still the same stock. And actually, it is listed on the Mexican Stock Exchange. So it is regulated. And the Mexican Stock Exchange is actually the second largest stock exchange in Latin America. So I'm not really worried about that. So I have a closer look at Peñoles. When I go to their website, I'm shocked. They have a very complicated website that even uses very, very old technologies from the 90s. But there is one bright spot. Peñoles changed their reporting currency, currency to US dollars last year. And the only reason I can think of is that they want to attract more international investors. Now, they also own 75% of Fresnillo, as I said last week. And they have a very good website. So I could imagine that their documentation will improve in the future. I also looked at analyst recommendations. And there I found another puzzle. A year ago, a lot more analysts recommended to buy Peñoles than today. But today, the stock price is almost half it was a year ago. So when you recommend to buy a stock when the price is much higher, why should you recommend to sell it when the price is much lower? That actually happens a lot. The analysts just go with the flow. But I don't want to do that. I'm buying Peñoles because of its gold and silver mines. And I'm buying it as a recession hedge in the future. So I made up my mind. I buy Peñoles. That's my decision, and I wish you a lot of success with your decision.